Ryan Graydon takes the ball for Roseville, and Nolan Lowry on the bump for Granite Bay. Bomb on the first, Granite Bay threatening. Preston Fondren singles to right. Brett Ott trots in from third, and just like that, Grizzlies lead it one to nothing. Still in the first and still no outs as J.P. Smith bangs his single up the middle of the center. Fondren trots in from third, making it 2-0 Grizz. Roseville gets on the board here in the second inning with one out. The D.H. Gavin Ruggiero grounds out to short. Brett Ott makes the play, but Davis Interno comes in to score. Tigers down one. Still in the second, G.B. trying to work its way out of a jam, but Roseville's Ramon Esparza has none of that. Singling to right center. Connor Elliott motors all the way around to score. The second run of the game for the Tigers. It's now a 3-2 Tiger lead when Ethan LeBlu smacks the pitch through the infield and into right. Brady Randello comes in to score, and the Tigers of Roseville are looking good. We go to the bottom of the second now, and with runners on, Ott dumps his single to center. Christian Burt comes in to score, and this game is tied at three. Nothing shaking till the fourth with runners on second and third. Parker Hellickson lifts the pitch to right. Fondren makes the play for Granite Bay. The throw to third trying to get the runner advancing, but Esparza reaches safely, and Ranello comes in to score from third. It's now 5-3 to three lead for Roosevelt. The Tigers' Max wisely singles to left. Esparza plates his run, and the Tigers are rather impressive on the road. But we go to the sixth inning. Freshman pitcher Chase Bentley enters the contest. He gets the ground ball, double play of Smith to Bryce Bentley over to Cody Ferrant. Nice turn by the big brother, Bryce Bentley, and the Grizzlies get out of trouble. That led to this scoring play by Granite Bay as Bryce then hits the sack fly to center. Avery Isola comes in to score, Granite Bay down one. Now in the bottom half of the seventh, game tied to five. Base is loaded for Isola, and the senior catcher delivers a single to left. On the first pitch, he sees Fondren scores. Let the celebration begin. Granite Bay wins on the walk-off single, 6-5, to five, thanks to Mr. Isola. I was just looking for something to hit, something I could hit in the, hit in the gap, and, you know, I got it. And I'm really happy I got it. 